A first of its kind execution in the U.S. tonight at the center of global controversy. The state of Alabama put convicted killer Kenneth Smith to death Thursday using nitrogen gas, which deprives the body of oxygen. You witnessed the execution. How long until he was unconscious? There were several minutes there where he was awake. There were about two minutes of Kenny Smith uh, experiencing shaking. He was uh, slightly thrashing on the gurney there before he fell unconscious. Media witnesses say that was followed by several minutes of deep breaths, slowing until no longer perceptible. Smith's spiritual advisor was in the chamber. What we saw was minutes of someone struggling for their life. We saw minutes of someone heaving back and forth. Prison officials say they believe Smith was trying to hold his breath for as long as possible and that involuntary movement was expected. But the previously untested method has raised questions and concern from the White House and around the world. It is very troubling uh, to us here at the White House. Rather than looking for novel um, untested methods to execute people. Let's just bring an end to the death penalty. Alabama's attorney general fended off criticism, calling the execution textbook and making this night. offer. Alabama has done it, and now so can you. And we stand ready to assist you in implementing this method in your states. For the children of Smith's victim, Elizabeth Senate, relief. More than three decades since she was brutally murdered. Nothing happened here today is going to bring... Uh, mom back, but uh, we're glad this day is over. And Emily, what was the impetus to go to this new method? Well, Esther, some states have trouble obtaining the drugs for lethal injections, the most common form of execution. And in the case of Smith, they couldn't find his vein in a botched execution attempt in 2022. Alabama's attorney general says 43 other death row inmates have chosen nitrogen hypoxia for their executions. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.